In a turn of events that saved us from the woefully enticing car crash of Finn Balor battling Sister Abigail, the latter appearing to be nothing more than Bray Wyatt wearing a Poundland Halloween costume, viral meningitis struck down some key members of the WWE locker room, and also Bo Dallas. Viral meningitis did what The Undertaker apparently couldn't do and took out the big dog himself, Roman Reigns. And since then we've seen a succession of people try and fill that gap in the shield while big dog Roman is recovering. First we had Kurt Angle, which was good because everyone likes Kurt Angle. He's like your embarrassing dad. And then a recent uh, WWE UK tour saw Triple H filling in. Who knew that the leader of the shield was so readily replaceable? They could be pro wrestling's equivalent of the Sugar Babes. Original members, merely a fancy thing of the past, until none of the original components remain. Sort of like the ship of Theseus. Or Trigger's broom from Only Fools and Horses, if you prefer British sitcoms to Greek philosophy. And who doesn't? With that in mind, we thought we'd have a little think about who might be best placed to fill in for Roman Reigns in the long term. Number five, Shinsuke Nakamura. Since popping up on SmackDown, Nakamura has been utterly wasted. I don't mean he's been drunk, I mean they've been wasting his talent. A feud with Dolph Ziggler isn't going to do anyone's career any favours. And while I quite like the Jinder Mahal, I don't think that Shinny deserves to lose to the modern day Maharaja, no matter how bored he appeared during the match. In a way, Shinsuke and Roman are fairly similar, in that neither of them can cut a decent promo, although at least in Nakamura's case it's because of a language barrier, and not a chronic lack of charisma. Number 4, Tyler Breeze. A big part of the Shield's look is that body armour they wear, an outfit that raises some serious questions about whether all three members are in fact massive heels. I mean, they're literally wearing body armour, guys, and they're fighting guys in trunks. That's an unfair advantage if ever there was one. Anyway, the look is clearly a difficult one to pull off. Angle did not manage it, and he's cut Angle. But you know who could make it work? The fashion police's very own Tyler Breeze. In fact, he could redesign their whole aesthetic. None of the stable of The Shield have got a great hair game. Tyler could at least raise that average. Number three, Elias Sampson. Sampson made a weird debut on Raw one week, fresh off of being booted out of NXT by Cassius Ono, only to sit around, strumming broken cores and being the best heel in the business. And he's carried on doing so since. And intentionally or not, he's making every face that squares up against him look like a joy-killing ass. Jason Jordan, we're looking at you, mate. People love to boo Roman Reigns. Samson is infinitely more booable. Get him in there. Number two, that kid from Stranger Things that everyone likes. You know, I mean the kid with the hair and the teeth. Burden, Dufflin, I don't know. It's nice to be topical, isn't it? It'd just be a turnaround to have a leader of the shield that everyone definitely likes, what with Roman Reigns' chronic likability issue. And if there's any luck, then Dublin, or whatever his name is, will get so into wrestling, he'll quit Stranger Things and save us all from seeing a great show descend further and further into irrelevance, tropes, and cheap nostalgia during a third season. Stranger Things Season 2 is bad, do not tweet me. And finally, number one, Vince McMahon. Look, check who's filled in so far, alright? The general manager of Raw, Kurt Angle, and then the future successor to the CEO of the whole shebang, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. There's only one place to go now, right? Time to bring out the billionaire beefcake. At 72, it might not be the highest impact match you've ever seen, but we're sure he could still take a decent bump or two. So there it is, another waste of everyone's time from NGB, and the very first from the Vanish announce table. Vince is replacing Roman in the Shield, there's nothing you can do about it. Rumour has it that Roman is set to return shortly before Survivor Series. Do you believe that? Let us know at Vanish announce on Twitter. And thanks for watching.